Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys are having a great day. Let's get right into it. Okay, so we got Nick Cannon. He had the worst diss of all time going at Eminem. Horrible. I mean, uh, top five most trash ever. Uh, Eminem responded, and uh, he just put it on Twitter. I mean, that's the most he's going to do with this because, come on, Nick Cannon didn't even really, <laughs> didn't really do anything now. What was Nick Cannon mad about? He's really mad about he Mariah's got him in check. Whoosh, whoosh, okay, Marshall Mathers. He said that on this recent track with Fat Joe, and um, basically Nick Cannon's like trying to go back at him and trying to like get some cloud out of this because he has his radio show going and everything. He even got Shug Knight, and I we already talked about this, and he compared Nick Cannon to Pac. I mean, come on, stop. So, Eminem, he said, I demand an apology, Nicholas. You've made my gardener jealous. Okay. And then he says, you mad, bro? Stop lying on my D. I never even had a chauffeur. You bougie. All right. I mean, that was a horrible response. But uh, you know what? What, what? what can you do with Nick Cannon? He's just going to run with it. He's going to put all his guys on it that are trash. Okay. Um, some people that are good on that track with him. Uh, I forget the battle rap uh, clips. He's he's a good rapper. I don't know why he jumped on that track. I mean, I guess just to be loyal, you need to be down with Incredible and get that money. Okay, so I get it. Uh, I heard Wack 100 chimed in and he told us all, Nick Cannon is not a legend. Just so you know, he's not a legend. <laughs> uh, then we got um, Cassidy. He reacts to Juice World. He says, uh, Bull told me I was his favorite rapper growing up right, right before we took this pick. Way to make someone's passing about you, okay? That's what I have to say about that. A lot of people are doing that. When someone passes, instead of putting them up and saying, sending condolences to the family and everything, they put up a picture of them and that person and say, this person loved me and what this person did for them. <laughs> like, or what this person, you know, this person loved me, so I love them back. You know, it's like, it's very weird, okay? Someone just lost their life, okay? Um, I saw Trippy Red put out, I'm not gonna do a whole story on that. He said, uh, yo, we're done, bro. If it ain't we, we're done, okay? It's like, dude, you're not done. It's hard to get off those type of pills and everything. So, um, but they should start, you know, the country should recognize we have an epidemic and give people free uh, ways to get out of it, you know, uh, ways to um, conquer this issue you know because it's it's really it's really bad um so joiner lucas he reacts to this um he says juice world was 21 he was a product of our generation of rappers who glorified drugs and made it cool i'm blaming y'all dudes for this stuff all that lean and pills da, 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 glorify you talk about you teaching kids to do it true little wayne on made it cool made kids want to do it i even tried lean before uh thinking it was cool in 2010. luckily i only did it for a week i didn't like how sleepy it made me and i stopped doing it i wasn't even doing the real stuff i was doing like generic i tried it three four times i liked how it tasted with sprite and i never did it again okay like uh because it just didn't like it i don't i don't like anything i don't do anything the most I do is have a glass of wine, honestly. Uh, I don't know. That's just me. I'm not saying I'm better than anybody. I'm just saying it just nothing does anything for me, you know. But sometimes people need, you know, some little, you know, greenery and all that. That's fine, you know. But, you know, please try to avoid the hard stuff because, you know, I drink coffee. I mean, I guess that's, you know, caffeine. But so uh, G Herbo, he responds. Now, I took a bad picture of this. So bear with me on my reading, OK, because it's blurry. And I can't zoom in on it for some reason. Anyways, he says, uh, he a effing clown. Dudes don't know what dude's going through. Dudes ain't trying to uh, be cool. Shorty was on top of the world. Uh, I think he was trying to fit in. If that was, e well, he was in the beginning before he was not on top of the world. And he was probably addicted to it. Um, he didn't see this coming. He ain't see the millions coming, fame coming, none of that. I got 50 homies pass away on my granny, da-da-da-da. Um, 
I'm in the streets 10 years of my life and addicted to Zan. Da, 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 da. Uh, I was blessed to stay strong enough and quit. Okay. Dude's having to self-medicate. He was a star. Can't go on stage thinking about demons. Fight. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know. You know, it's sad. It's just sad. You know, and uh, what we hear now is that um, the, the pilot alerted the, the authorities when they landed. The jet was surrounded and he panicked, took, took everything to try to hide it. I don't know why, but maybe he was already on something and wasn't thinking clearly. Like, it's almost like when you wake up and you haven't had enough sleep, like 30 minutes sleep, you don't make good decisions just like you don't when you're on something, right? Uh, so I'm assuming that's what happened. And that's that's even worse, man. That's even sadder. Uh, I don't know. Uh, anyways, then we got uh, Max B checks Kanye West. He says... Kanye West dressed up as a silver surfer for uh, Art Bezel. He's Kanye West, a.k.a. Silver Surfer. Max B says there's only one silver surfer. I agree with him. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys had a great day. This won't be the last story. I'm going to do another one before the day is over. I appreciate you. Well, the day is over. I'm going to do another two. So when you guys wake up in the morning, if you're going to sleep, you'll get a one in the morning. I hope you guys had a great day today. I hope you guys put some positive energy out there. I hope you guys are feeling good, okay? Please take care of yourselves. Get some sleep, drink water, all that good stuff because you know what? You owe, you need to wake up tomorrow to try your best, okay? You got to get up tomorrow. You got to try your best. You got to put one foot in front of the other. You got to put good energy out there. You got to keep trying so the universe can meet you halfway and you can make your dreams come true or just be comfortable. You know, that's all we want to be. We want to be comfortable. We want to be stress free. And that's the goal. That's the dream. And then you can go from there. I appreciate you guys. Um, We'll get into more motivational talks. I'm feeling motivational this Christmas season, so let's get into it. And yes, I bought toys for anybody who bought hoodies or whatever. I, I'll be taking pictures of the toys I've bought kids. Uh, I, I usually pick a family, underprivileged family. I can't take, you know, I could do like two kids Christmas presents, spend a couple hundred bucks, you know, five. Last year we did a thousand, but I, we didn't raise that much money this year. So uh, buy a hoodie or below, it goes towards that. I appreciate you guys. It's Jordan Taylor with JT News, and I will check you guys in the next one. Peace.